This is Kemon, the character who's likely going through the most unique journey in all of Xenoverse. You see, starting from absolutely nothing, I'll have to get all of my gear, supplies, and most importantly all of my attacks from only planet Namek. All of this until not only I reach the max level, but Kemen will also be thrown into the fires of ranked matches, where I'll have to reach top 10 in the entire world. Let the journey continue. We are back! Just here chilling with my nephew Dende. I'm gonna have to do these Dragon Ball missions at some point just because in order to get to the max level, I have to like have Guru, you know, break my limits and everything. But first we got Mekuji over here doing some gardening over here. Living that good, clean, plant-based lifestyle. I feel it. Sup? Damn, you got a brother voice. How about giving me a hand with all this? How can I help, brother? Oh, so I have to find him an energy capsule M. This is gonna be tough without a shop. Maybe I can stumble on one somewhere, Namek, but I doubt it. It's my cousin Nail. What's up? Truly powerful fiend has violated this land. Oh, and we can actually, would you look at that? We can get a reward energy capsule M from this mission. We can take it over to Mikuji. Sure. Oh, we got Nail helping us? All right. This is the only Namekian I'll take help from. By the way, people were asking me if I could have Piccolo as a mentor. I think not, just because Piccolo, although he's Namekian and Lord Slug, although they're Namekian, they didn't live on planet Namek. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to use Lord Slug's moves. I'm not going to use Piccolo's moves. They're not native Namekians. You know what I mean? Nail, on the other hand, if he wants to help me with one of these Dragon Ball quests, as long as I didn't manually choose him, I'll take his help. Oh, oh, we can test out our uh, new Kamehameha. That's some bower. I'm sorry. I can't Let's go. Mission alone. Let me I'm here for you. I'm here for you, Nail. Get rid of these henchmen first. Uh. 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 All right. Got rid of a pool. Got rid of uh, Dodoria. Zarbon, you're next. Come. Oh, we can finish this with the uh, Kamehameha. Bye, Zarbon. Yeah. Nail's getting his ass whooped by Freeze over there. Help me, nigga. And he's almost gone. Nail, you want to finish him off? I'll let you do the honors. Hurry up before this key blast hits him. All right, I'll do it. Now we can just get these Dragon Balls in peace. I'll uh, expedite that for you. All right, there we go. Hey, we got the level up and we got the energy capsule. Dog, I would never get excited for this back in the day or just in my regular playthrough of Xenoverse. But now that I have it, like since I can't use shops, it makes these items so much more useful because if i run into a difficult quest like i'll actually have those items to use but obviously we're going to give this item to our homeboy over here i got you that energy capsule hey let's go he said check back a bit later okay so i guess we can continue with our parallel quest journey in the meantime <laughs> the dragon balls was definitely a good little warm-up i actually think we need to do more of the story mode in order for us to get the next part of the parallel quest so that's what we're gonna do another thing somebody mentioned was can i use the dragon balls in the future as long as i find the dragon balls on namek then yes i can use them we'll just have to use our imagination and pretend that is purunga instead of shenron 20 minutes later all right so we just handled a chunk of story mode with the ginyu force i'm pretty sure frieza is going to be next but i think that should give us some parallel quests also we can see if this guy's uh area over here is set and he has the question mark over his head so i would imagine that's a yes sweet potatoes i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but thanks think we unlocked some new yes we did okay so we got gotta find that dragon ball oh we can get spinning blade fighting pose d and holstein we never gonna have to use holstein shock but fighting pose d and spinning blade maybe and we also have this new category where we can get mock kick a racer gun and fighting pose j oh damn we actually can't do this one never mind it's not on namek i mean we can do it but we can't use the rewards from it okay so i guess we'll do this one first so we can actually get holstein shock which isn't going to be useful spinning blade and then fighting pose d all right so this is a dragon ball quest i want to kind of force myself to actually beat the enemies from now on all right, Raccoon's down. Who messed around too much? So stupid. So did you mess around too, idiot? Yeet. <laughs> How about I finish it by grabbing your little lad? Come here. Yeet. Bye. Okay, we got equipment. Can we get skill? Can it say skill too? Didn't say skill. But if we can get the ultimate finish, then maybe we'll get the skill. Boom. You good? Do we get the ultimate finish? Hey, yes we do. Okay, let's go. Who's next? Who is this? Okay. I don't know why 
Vegeta's working with them. I want your spinning blade, brother. Bye, Jace. I said bye, Jace. Vegeta, stay out of this. Give me that Widow's Peak. Yeet! Hey, yo, Captain Ginyu, I ain't got no stamina, so if you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind, uh, just give me a second. All right, all right, all right. Now we just got to get the Dragon Balls. Also, I have been debating whether I can use Limit Burst or not. I think it's fair because it's attached to the Super Soul that I have to unlock on Namek. Because right now, I don't even have any Super Souls, uh, which is why I can't use a Limit Burst. But I think it'd be a cool little X Factor thing to use. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, I don't know. I'll decide whenever I actually have one available to me. More than 10 minutes on the clock. Hopefully, we get an attack out of this. I don't really want to repeat it very much. Got an S. What do we get? Items. Okay, we got some. We got an all region shard, a baseball uniform. No attacks. All right. The RNG might be against us. Let's skip to when I finish it again, fellas. Oh wait, we did unlock another Namekian parallel quest though. And this has Ginyu Force special combo. I actually really like that move. This one is more just combat based instead of the Dragon Ball. So instead of doing another Dragon Ball mission, I will come back to this because I do think I want Spinning Blade and I want to see what Fighting Pose D does. I don't know off the top of my head what it does. I'll probably come back to this, but first I want to see if I can get Fighting Pose B and more importantly, Ginyu Force special combo right after I boost some attributes. Uh, let's put this up to 15. I think we should probably start getting our health up a little, so I'll, I'll throw health in. Key is like the least important thing to me because I don't have any attacks that really require a lot of key yet. I don't have, I don't even have an ultimate. Fee all of Freeze's underlings, I like that. All right, just straight up combat. Let's go. Oh, we gotta get 15 of them? One, you're in the wrong hood, brother. Damn, that pack's a punch now. It always did, but you're in the wrong hood. Bye. Who's next? So I just got to keep pressing forward. Oh, okay. They, they're going to just keep no spawning. falling back. We'll outnumber them. Uh, just two of you. I'm going to beat your ass. Uh, Mama said beat your ass. Uh, I'm going to beat your ass. Uh, Mama said beat your ass. Uh, I'm going to beat your ass. Uh, Mama said beat your ass. Uh, I'm going to beat your ass. Uh, Mama said beat your ass. Uh, All right. Ultimate finish, and it's Captain Gin in Goku's body. Oh my god, he actually, he can actually take a hit. My hits don't do much to him. How about a Kaioken Kamehameha? Think about how hard this mission would be if they all actually attacked at the same time. All right, Captain Ginyu, it's time to go night night. It's time to go noi noi. There we go. Captain Ginyu down. This guy is easy. Ginyu was way more durable than these guys. Alright, easy money. I had so much luck last time, but it had to run out at some point. No? Okay, I don't think we can really use the shards, but we got ninja suit. Did we get an attack? We didn't get an attack. No! Since you already saw me do the mission once, I'm not going to bore you with having to watch it again. However, I am going to repeat them and you guys will be able to see the results later. All right, please, please this time, please, please. Yes, this is the only one I want. I don't really care for the fighting pose. Let's go. This is our second unlocked attack, fellas. Well, obviously we have a fighting pose, but this is our second actually useful attack. You know what I mean? That damages people. We're going to equip that here. We are looking good. We got a strike attack. We got a key blast attack. I like it. I am going to go back to this mission, though, to try to see if we can get spinning blade because I like that evasive. Hey, we got a skill. Okay, I like that. I like that. I don't know what it is, but that's a good sign. Got it. Got it. Got it. Ganini. All right, we good? Oh, yeah, ultimate finish. Well, maybe we still have a chance to get yet another skill, depending on how we do in this part. All right. Moment of truth, please. I beg it. I beg it of you. Okay, we got to level up. Moment of truth. Yes, we got both. Everything we wanted. I did not care for Holstein Shock. That's perfect. That, that, that's just beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, let's see if this fighting pose is better than the one I have now. Fighting pose D. Temporarily speed up boost dash. Huh. 
I'll take that. And then our new evasive, we got spinning blade. The only issue with this one is it does take 300 stamina instead of 200 here. But I like the damage that it does. And if, you know, people are throwing hands, I don't know. I just prefer this one overall. It's cool. So although I can't use anything from this mission here in terms of the rewards, since they aren't on Namek, I do have to finish it just so I can get the next parallel quest. So give me a sec. I guess while we're here though, we can test out the Ginyu Force special combo. Uh, uh. Ah, uh, new enemy already. Oh, and we can combo off of that too. That's actually going to be a dope move to use. Oh, man, got full health. I actually don't like this. There's the other variation where we hit him with that butt slam. Uh, 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 uh. feeling kind of powerful now i can't wait till we unlock our first ultimate i really don't know what it is yet like off the top of my head in before it's like body change and then there's the default one yeet all right bye guldo now it's just birder all right and birder's done we should be done unless there's an there's an ultimate finish of course probably turles oh he's just running away so we have to pursue him bye yeet why not all right how about the key blast yeet <laughs> All right, ultimate finish. Doesn't matter what we get from this one, but we had to clear it nonetheless. But just out of curiosity, what did we get? Just out of curiosity. They ask you how you are, you just have to say oh, that, that you're hurts. fine. When you're not that really hurts fine. Really you Keeping a list of all the moves that I can use that I've unlocked. So far, we have Kaioken Kamehameha, Fighting Pose D, Ginyu Special Combo, and then our evasives are Psycho Escape and Spinning Blade. Parallel Quest 18 is also an Earth-based one. I don't know why they're on Earth. I wish they were just on Namek. That had Mock Dash, which is my one of my favorite evasives in the game. Only costs 200 stamina. Great to get out of anything. Gives you a speed boost. Such a good evasive. But we will not be able to use it. This is a nightmare. All right, done with this one. Luckily, we didn't get any attacks from that. I'm almost like, I don't want to get attacks from missions that I can't use the attacks from. Oh, another one down. And luckily, I didn't get any attacks. All right, so I think I have to finish the Frieza arc in the story mode in order to get the next Namekian parallel quest. 20 minutes later. All right, so we just finished up the Frieza part of the story, and we can now fly around. That's actually pretty damn convenient. Another thing I take for granted. But let's see the juicy stuff. We now have more parallel quests. So this one, we can get Mystic Flash. Oh, our first ultimate's gonna be dope. We get Mystic Flash. We can get Energy Shot. We can get Death Slash. That's gonna be fire. And Spirit Explosion as an evasive. I actually like the idea of all of these moves. But we're going to start pursuing these in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is actually about a two-hour recording because I was doing a bunch of story mode stuff on the side that obviously I didn't bore you guys with because it doesn't really help us at all. However, since I saw the moves that we're going to unlock, Mystic Flash, I think we're going to go even stronger on the Key Blast Supers. And in the future, if I ever need to change the attributes when I actually get into PvP and stuff, I'll be able to do that because, again, if I get the Dragon Balls on Namek, then I can use those to, you know, reorganize my attribute points or allocate them somewhere else. But for now, we're going to go Key Blast up to, we'll say 30, and then we'll bring up our basic attacks a bit. We moved our health up one, and yeah, I think that's, that's, that's good for us for now. That was another long day at work. Let's head back home. After another long day, if you want another episode, like the video, and I'll bring more to you. If you smell what we got is cooking. Oh, man.